Hello and welcome to the Yezo Toku Anime Review. Your mission today is to sit right where you are and listen to me talk about vampires in a phony baloney British accent. May God and Her Majesty be with you. Amen. <laughs> Vampires. Children of darkness who feed on the blood of the living and turn them into dusty ghouls. Only one organization stands between such monsters- I I'm talking like this because I want to, alright? And the humanity they threaten. The top secret Helsing organization, run by Sir Integra Wingate's Helsing, eliminates supernatural monstrosities from England's streets under the royal seal and affiliation with the Protestant Church. Devoted as she is, however, Integra is not above using creatures of the underworld to control it. My organization has already sent assistance to Cheddar Village. How many agents? <laughs> One. One? The trump card, the proud Nosferatu Alucard, takes great pleasure in killing his brother and to tout his pride as the purest and strongest of the damned until one day he sacrifices a rookie police girl to kill one of his targets. He grants her wish to survive, but as one of the undead. Now, Sarah's Victoria has become a box soldier for Helsing, and must learn to like the taste of blood to defend her benefactors from the greatest foes yet. Legions of vampires swarm for revenge. A criminal faction manufactures free chips that create artificial vampires from power-hungry men, and the passionately Catholic Iscariot organization sends its assassins, Judas priests, out to eliminate the heathens who dare to work with vampires in their pursuit for peace. On the technical side of things, Helsing has major, major issues. Gonzo is famous for prioritizing its projects from lavish budgets to Zippo budget. Guess which one Helsing got? Character designs are hideous outside of the main cast. Backgrounds are so bland and unappealing it's impossible to tell where you are at any given moment. I could go on, but just know that Helsing is often painful to watch, color choice being its largest detriment. The palette in Helsing produces a plastic, bio-colored result with skin tones on some characters that makes humans look less vivid than the undead, like this reporter who has a worse accent than I do. So you feel no guilt for watching? Damned right! I wasn't the one who was doing the videotaping. It was that pathetic computer freak. Die. The folksy rock metal music is unique, but I don't care for how it's used, or should I say it's not used. Rather than support the action, the music always acts as an afterthought in Helsing, playing far too quietly to be appreciated, or just punching up to blare and only achieving the effect of a drowning radio. It's a great soundtrack that is horribly poorly used. The dub of Helsing has an obligation to the English language that the Japanese does not. British accents, and it's a double-edged sword with Integra and Walter on the sharp side, and far too many awful extras on the dull side, and Katie Gray's unstable Victoria licking the blade as she struggles to act a bland part in a voice that's not her own, and just pulls through. The Iscariot organization offers a respite from all the limey lingo with Castilian Enrico Maxwell, and the very best of all, Paladin Alexander Anderson, a character who needed far more scenes if only so we could listen to more of that great Scottish bro. We will not hesitate to wipe you, your organization, and your vampire problem off the face of the earth. For the most part, it's a very enjoyable listen, with just a few forced cringes that come with a bunch of Americans trying to sound European. And then there's Alucard, and you can't go wrong in either language because both Joji Nakata and Crispin Freeman are wickedly fantastic. Anytime Alucard opens his mouth, you just have to shut up and listen. It's so spellbinding. You foul monster! I get that a lot. But then, what does that make you? A man. A dog. Or a monster. Poor Vatican whipping boy. I've had enough fun for tonight. Oh what? Are you going to chew me to death? Shut your hole, you cheap black magician of Helsing! So, what do I really think of the wildly popular cult hit Helsing? I could almost shout, what a waste, and save myself some breath. But, seeing as this show is so well-loved, I'll have to explain my low opinion of this sleaze fest in greater detail. Very well. It's one thing for a show to be episodic, to not have a plot. It's quite another for a show to pretend it has a plot and then string us along a lot of very confusing side roads to end up admitting it has no idea where the hell thing it was ever going and it doesn't care to finish either. Villains appear and disappear at random with little to no motivation or explanation of why they're a threat or what they have to do with the main plot of who is creating the freak chip and why. Not that it matters. Spoiler alert, 
They never find out who's creating the freak chip, and even though we spend hours on it, the stupid things don't ultimately mean anything. I rarely understood why any characters did anything, and I never cared. The only reason I stuck with the show is because of the script. The dialogue in the show is wonderfully witty, and hearing all the Brits banter scene by scene is incredibly rewarding, until you realize every fun conversation has nothing to do with any overall direction. Is there something wrong with your MP5? Oh, what do you mean? Hello, the barrel's bent. Uh, what? What? You'd better go have it replaced quickly, or you'll miss your chance to test. But some shows get by on rich character development, or unique concepts at the expense of a strong plot. It's the tried and true bebop approach. This isn't one of those either. Victoria is one of the most boring and completely undeveloped protagonists in any anime. She follows her master's orders and has long talks with people who could be interesting, but often just get killed after they explain things. There's no exploration of her struggle with her vampire nature or her apparent loneliness, anything. She's hopelessly boring, but hey, at least she's hot, or so I'm told. Every other character is just as vapid, except a lot of them aren't sexy or anything. Um, the final boss is particularly bad. He has all the personality of a pickup fence. The big exception to this is Integra herself. She's a complicated and very valiantly strong woman, but she just isn't enough by herself to give this show any substance. So, maybe this show isn't supposed to have a plot, or develop characters, or, you know, have any depths. Maybe it's just a great horror title. No. Good horror frightens people, often relying on the audience's imagination. Bad horror just grosses people out with too much information. Helsing is gory, repulsive, sometimes twisted, but never frightening. Fullmetal Alchemist, for instance, a show accessible for young teens, has at least ten moments that are scarier than anything in Helsing. Many of them near bloodless, but will probably still keep you up for hours with the lights on. Helsing is mature viewers only, but it's gratuitous and woefully unimaginative by comparison. I've almost sucked this show's juices dry, but it's left with one great appeal. The cool factor. Okay, it has that. It's cool. It is cool seeing a vampire in a long coat pummel ghouls to ash and cackle about it. It is cool seeing a bunch of Catholics send a scripture-pitching Scotsman after him, too. But at the expense of all the garbage floating through this ailing anime system, simply being cool is no saving grace. In fact, it's almost insulting. Helsing is a pile of sensationalistic hyper-violence with excessive swearing and ridiculously ignorant sacrilege, and the fact that people shout, It's cool! Lighten up! makes me balk at rewarding it for anything at all. Maybe the show is fun in a sick kind of way, but I see no merit in bad storytelling, bad technical execution, and yes, offensive content. Standards vary for every individual, but I'm the kind of person who will never watch Saw or Grindhouse, and I'm still very sorry I bought into the hype to watch Helsing. It's like the cool kid at school who deserves no honest praise for being a real douche at heart. Helsing was available from Pioneer Genion before they went under, but it's been reissued many, many times, so despite being technically out of print, it's still really easy to find. The original manga by Kota Hirano, which I'm told does not have the horrible story problems of the anime, is available from Dark Horse Comics, and an OVA called Helsing Ultimate is now being released that closely follows said manga, so I may review that title at a later date and at least give the original concept another chance, even if this first iteration is total funk. There is impure blood in my veins. All in all, Helsing is a wild and woolly idea that sucks more than it bites. No amount of stylish costuming, good voice acting, and Scottish assassins can disguise an incomprehensible plotline, cardboard characters, and poor attempts at cheap thrills. Then, to make matters worse, you have painfully poor production values. It's not a popular opinion, but I have to give Helsing 1.5 gory, melting, undead freaks. Shooting me is not going to do you any good. Out of four.